Hi there, Beverly. How are you Hi, doing? Hi, I'm Dr. Beverly Rubick, a biophysicist who's been studying subtle energy and energy medicine for about 30 years already. And it's been my pleasure to work with Greg Yao, whom I consider a grandmaster of the martial arts and the healing arts, um, whom I've measured in several ways. Uh, for example, we looked at uh, the light coming out of his hands and body and found, uh, most amazingly, that the greatest emitters were the fingertips of the sword fingers which is very important, I know, in Qigong and the martial arts and the healing arts because people are often using these fingers in healing. And not only that, he was one of the highest emitters uh, among the ten people that we measured, which was very impressive to me. And we've looked at him in a 40 hertz brainwave study uh, of the prefrontal cortex, which is the area here. Um, and he was able to make 40 hertz on demand with great facility. I think he was, uh, again, the superstar in my study on 40 hertz and meditation. And I was really impressed with what facility and magnitude he could make that brainwave from this point. And by the way, that brainwave is associated with positive affect, which is one of Greg's really strong points. He's always uh, a happy, loving, and joyful person who is a pleasure to be around uh, as a teacher and as a colleague and as a friend. He's really been a, a joy in my life. And he uh, obviously is in a high state of that bliss because that band in the brainwave coming from this point has been associated with a high level of joy and compassion and love, uh, the high level love for humanity. So he seems to carry that with him all of the time. And our studies bore it out. And now we've just done some recent experiments, which we haven't analyzed, but it looks to me as if he had a positive effect on DNA, uh, because DNA sitting in a water solution over time tends to go downhill. The molecules fall apart. And it seemed, although I haven't analyzed the data, that he had a positive influence in um, stopping that process of natural decay of DNA in water solutions. And so it's been a real pleasure to work with Greg, and we're excited about doing uh, further experiments with him to understand more about subtle energies and energy medicine. Well, thank you, Beverly. You're welcome.